Welcome to Sparks of History, where world history and Jewish history meet. Today, we are extremely pleased to have with us Pulitzer Prize winner, Professor David Kurtzer. Professor Kurtzer is the Paul Dupay Jr. University Professor of Social Sciences, Professor of Anthropology, and Professor of Italian Studies at Brown University. He has authored numerous books, including Family Life in Central Italy, Politics and Symbols, the Italian Communist Party, and the Fall of Communism, the Popes Against the Jews, the Vatican's Role in the Rise of Modern Anti-Semitism, Pope Who Would Be King, the Exile of Pius IX, and the Emergence of Modern Europe. And today we will be discussing the kidnapping of Edgardo Mortaro in a fascinating account that reads um, like a fictional thriller, but is uh, historically deeply researched. Um, and no wonder that um, it has become so popular and hopefully we'll be seeing a Steven Spielberg movie um, as soon as possible. And, and it really tells us um, the, the popularity and, and the importance and significance of, of this wonderful book. And I urge all our readers and listeners to go on to Amazon like I did and click a button and deliver it straight to your home. Um, Professor Kurtz, again, thank you very much for being with us. A little bit about your background and how you became interested in the kidnapping of Edgardo Mortara. Well, it was kind of fortuitous. I, uh, I'm an anthropologist and social historian by background. And I had been doing uh, various research projects in Bologna, basically on 19th century uh, social history, the transition of peasant to urban society. And a friend of mine, an Italian historian who's actually an American, asked me whether I knew about the Mortara case from Bologna. And I said, no, I didn't. And he said, I should look into it. And I began as a kind of side project as I learned about it, uh, spending more and more kind of weekend time and evening time, because initially I thought this was not really my, my field, um, kind of 19th century Jewish history, one could call it. And uh, I was amazed at both how important the case was historically and how the extent to which it had been forgotten. I talked with historians at University of Bologna who knew nothing about it. And uh, at the time, as we'll talk about, it actually was had a major impact on Italian history and not to mention Jewish history. So I, uh, and at the same time, I had another kind of career aspiration, which is to write for a broader audience. And I had written a number of books, uh, mainly for fellow scholars. And I had reached a point in my career where I wanted to try to interest a larger audience worldwide in, in Italian history, which I find fascinating. And so uh, those kind of two forces came together and resulted in this book. 